Well, 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 what do we have here? Well, looks like we got the Spot Mini doing a booty dance versus the Tesla Model X showing off its fancy Falcon Wing doors. As technology progresses, maybe sometimes we don't progress as well. Well, I feel sorry for this young fella. Hopefully he can figure out his new Tesla, but I don't think putting gasoline will do any good. So maybe having a product that is overly complicated or something that we don't understand may not be the best product for you. So here at Roller Masters, I'm here to help you understand different models of rollout vacuums. And in this video, we're going to look at this new model called the iLac 4S Pro, which is back to the basics. It's a no-frills rollout vacuum, but it has a lot of great features. At first glance, the A4S Pro doesn't look like anything that stands out, but don't take my word for it. With a 3000 plus 4 star Amazon rating, clearly this guy has some unique features that consumers like. So this guy is designed for smaller areas, maybe a one bedroom apartment or a dormitory, but I also tried this in my larger home, which is 2800 square foot, and this robot was able to return back to its docking station reliably due to its unique algorithms. I used a handful of rollout vacuums that used a random navigation like the popular Roomba E5 and most of these rollout vacuums do struggle to find the docking station but with the A4S Pro it has a very unique navigation algorithm that does really good finding its docking station even in a larger floor plan like this. Ugh, just another day cleaning Rollout Master's house. What in the world is this? I'm having a crappy day and I have to fight a crab? I don't like this at all. Hey, 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 Roblox S6 Max V, wait for me, wait for me, I want to come too. Don't you think it's a little weird that he has a bunch of math queen unicorns laying around? He's like in his 30s and such. Hey, 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 don't follow me and don't make fun of this guy because he's been going to his AA Unicorn Anonymous classes. Hey, S6 Max V, guess what? I beat you. I'm so small and nimble. See you later. Okay, that's it. Where are you guys? I'm going home. Let's see how well the A4S Pro picks up. I do a variety of debris. I do like large debris. I do powder, some large chunks of candy, just to kind of simulate the environment. I also put some rubber mats down to help simulate like how well the robot can transition over thresholds. And you may notice my dustbin's filthy. Well, I actually used this robot prior to testing, so it kind of gives a real life experience. I'm not using a clean filter or a clean dustbin. It seems like a lot of these cheaper uh, vacuums come from the same manufacturer because I noticed the style of dustbins the exact same across different models and the uh, iLife is no different. It's a 600 ml dustbin with a 3 stage filter system. We're going to go ahead and put in about 2 ounces of dirt material so we can see how much the robot vacuum can pick up and we'll run this test for about 25 minutes. So this guy runs at 1500 pascals in its normal mode, and if you enable spot clean mode, it can go up to 2000 pascals. This is the equivalent power of the more expensive robots like the Roblox S5 Max. So you may notice that I forgot to put a physical boundary behind my couch. Well, with these random navigating robots, there's no app integration or app control, so you do have to use physical boundaries to prevent the robot from going to areas you don't want to, or you could use the included virtual wall boundary, which is a mechanical device that shoots out an infrared beam and prevents the robot from going into that area. Well, I thought this video would be a simple video to shoot, but I have shot over 100 videos so far and I thought I was an expert. Well, apparently not. So, one of the first failures I had was when I set up the virtual wall boundary for the A4S Pro, I didn't read the instructions. As you can see that the robot went past the virtual boundary. Luckily, I like puts instructions on how to use the virtual wall boundary. So my next problem was I forgot to charge the robot, so when the robot's low, it will go back to its docking station to recharge. Okay, so it takes about 4 hours to fully charge the robot, and you get about 100 minutes of runtime. So a lot of people these days want to get the latest and greatest robot, but if you have a small apartment or you want a small secondary robot that you can just put down in your basement, these are good options to consider. 
I guess the biggest downside to these basic robot vacuums is they lack app capabilities and there's no way to update the software if you want new features. You do have the ability to schedule via the remote control. You also have an edge clean mode and a spot clean mode, so it does offer different cleaning patterns. I've been testing the A4S Pro for a couple of days and here's what I found out. For the best cleaning performance, go ahead and put the robot in a small area and enable the perimeter sweep or edge clean mode first. This allows the dirt and debris to get away from the baseboards and then allow the robot to kind of bounce around for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on how long you want the robot to run. The robot can run up to 100 minutes and it will automatically return back to its docking station. But for an area like this size, I think 30 minutes should be sufficient. Okay, so it looks like the A4S Pro is almost done and now it's going to go ahead and return back to its docking station. Now for the best performance, I would recommend putting the docking station in an open area so the robot can easily find it. Also, don't put any furniture or objects in front of the docking station because the robot may not be able to properly return back to its docking station. The robot itself is very simple. There's just a single button on top for play pause and on the side of the robot, there's a physical power switch if you're not going to use the robot for extended amounts of time. Okay, let's check out the results of this cleaning test. Then I put down 2 ounces of dirt and debris and we'll see how much the robot was able to pick up after a 25 minute pickup challenge. So if you like these types of videos, please smash the like button. It really helps me gauge if these videos are popping up. And I want to give a special thanks to iLife for sending me out this unit in exchange for a review. I have been getting a lot of cheaper robot vacuums to review on this channel. And I don't disregard them because a lot of people do like the cheaper models and they're great for secondary robot vacuums if you have a primary one for upstairs that are more advanced. So the robot did a fair job and if you look on the back of the dustbin you may notice an orange sticker. Yes, that's the customer service to iLife. So if you have any issues with the models, just go ahead and give them a call and it can help you with your robot vacuum. Alright, have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys next time. Bye.